the shooting happened Saturday night. Here we are Monday. Where does the investigation stand now? We know that the FBI and ATF are helping local police. Saw the sheriff's department out here earlier as well. It seems as though they're also uh, providing additional resources. So kind of walk us through that. Who all is involved and where does the investigation stand right now? So right now we still have no one in custody after this horrible incident took place Saturday. And the partners that we have involved are locally the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office mm -hmm. and federally the ATF and the FBI. We have FBI agents, boots on the ground at the Birmingham Police Department working side by side with our officers. Is this a different response compared to other shootings that have taken place in this area, in this downtown area? Is it, tell us how different, what makes this different than the other shootings that you've had to talk about the last couple of weeks? We have never seen a shooting, one, of this magnitude in any part of our city, and two, for this act to have taken place in such a crowded entertainment district, it's one of the most heartless acts we've ever seen in Birmingham. Okay, and talk about the, the crime rates. The, you were mentioning earlier just how many homicides have taken place this week alone, in this area alone. So there, there, has, there has been a drastic uptick in violence, is that right, in this area? I've been a police officer for a little over a decade. When I first started at the Birmingham Police Department, we had 65 homicides for that year, which was 2011. Fast forward to 2024, and we are already at around 122 homicides just in September. So those numbers have doubled in just shortly over a decade. What's your message to the public, especially those who are in this area, may work and live in this area? What's your message to them? I know police are urging uh, people to come forward if they have any information. Feel free to talk about that as well. But what is your message? What is the police department's message to people who live here? One, sadly, this mass shooting was like many of our other shootings as far as motives. This was a targeted, isolated attack. Uh, we do believe that these suspects and victim or victims possibly knew one another the, of the deceased. And this just goes to show you that the criminal element in Birmingham doesn't mind getting completely innocent people involved. And we would encourage anyone to know that there's a $50,000 cash reward set out by the FBI and a $50,000 cash reward set out by Crime Stoppers totaling $100,000 in cash for your information. That's life changing. Given that there have been other targeted shootings, and, and I don't know the outcomes of those shootings if suspects were ever found, but is there hope that there will be suspects apprehended at some point? Is there hope that you guys will be able to find the, the people responsible for this shooting? The message that we have for our community in many of our other situations where we saw they were high profile and the community stepped up, can I start that over? Absolutely, absolutely, Doran. I'm going to stop being so wordy. Yeah, you ready? Let it out. <laughs> so what we have seen is when the community becomes involved in cases like the one we saw Saturday, we are able to apprehend suspects immediately. One of the most heinous crimes that we've seen committed in Birmingham was when a young lady named Mahogany Jackson was killed in Birmingham. The community stepped up and provided us information immediately, and we were able. Want to just yeah, cut out the bill? That's all right. Oh, yeah, that's we'll okay. Wait, we'll, that's okay. Because that audio is going to be. Yeah. But, but um, that'll be for us anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, so we right. had a case where a young lady was kidnapped, sexually mm. abused, and violated by multiple people. The community gave us information, and we were able to make an arrest within hours. I within, see. I think, 48 hours. I so, see. if anything, I would like to touch as far as the hope. Yeah. Yes. The, the, the message is, when y'all give us information, we've shown we make the arrest, mm -hmm. but we've got to get the information mm -hmm. aside mm -hmm. from our own investigation. Right. So I'll just well, that cut worked. that, I'll cut that, that down. That actually worked. I'll cut that down. That you, that oh, worked. that worked. Even. That worked. You explaining it the way you did, okay. that totally worked. That is usable. <laughs> okay. So you don't have to re -say that okay. at all. I won't. Yeah. Yeah. I won't. <laughs> um, so let's talk a little bit about what was going on here earlier today. I don't know if you're aware that there were ATF guys out here. They, they seem to be scouring the area. I don't know if they found anything. Is there anything that you can disclose about that search um, just probably like an hour or two hours ago? Sure. That was a re-canvas. 
And what agents will do, along with Birmingham police detectives, is one day, two days after the crime, we come back out, we re-canvas, make sure that we didn't miss okay. any evidence, and uh, we're just utilizing all our resources. Okay, perfect. Um, I think that is all. Is there anything else that you wanted to add? I think that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. You sure. You got one? Well, Go for it. brought in ATF and FBI. They don't come to every... Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, yeah. So I think it's it's probably the number of people that were around and the collateral damage. But touch on that. Uh, what brought ATF? What makes this a a federal case in addition to you know police kind of investigating as well? In February of this year, we had a quadruple homicide take place in our north side of Birmingham. Right then, we knew we had to strengthen our relationship with our federal partners. So what we've established since then is anytime we have a shooting of this magnitude, the ATF, the FBI, and additional federal partners will always be here to assist us. So that's what brought them out for this investigation.